Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to another post bag. This is going to be part one of uh, two. Uh, so keep an eye on my channel for the next one. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to apologize myself for my voice. Uh, I'm a little bit ill, but the items that I received, uh, uh, I wanted to keep you updated on them because I'm very excited about them. So uh, there's a lot to unpack. So let's get started with this one. Move this one out of the way. It says converter adapter. And that's exactly what it is. These are BNC plugs, and I uh, already ordered them, but I ordered them the wrong um, gender. So I think this was female and these two were male um, and I wanted a splitter that you can attach things to not attach things from uh, so that you can uh, um, probe a signal uh, that's going into something uh, with the signal generator and your scope so nice little uh, BNC plugs always handy to have This small thing, integrated circuits, times five. So I'm curious what's in here. Ah, these are the uh, transistors, MOSFETs. These are the IRF3205. Uh, I ordered them quite some time ago, and they took very long to, uh, to arrive. Um, but now I don't need them anymore because uh, this was for my windmill project. Uh, but you all know what happened to the last transition of the PCB. Actually, you don't know because I uh, still have to upload that video. Reminds me that I've got something to do there. Uh, too long, don't read. It blew up. So I won't be using MOSFETs anymore. Because uh, I think I got around 20 volts at one of the 5 volt Arduino pins and my Arduino didn't like that at all. So yeah. Now this uh, just said Dong Wa Hai Wang building. Nothing more. Um, but these are quite handy and useful to have laying around. And I was wondering why it took me so long to order them. These are the, the, the little pry tools you uh, use to open clips from, from plastic uh, clips, devices and cases. Uh, yeah, nothing more to say about that. Now this one, this is interesting. It says sponge. Now there's no sponge in here. I know that. Um, but what's in here? I also know that. And open it properly. That is soldering tips. Now, what I'm curious, uh, what I'm curious about is if these tips are from the same quality as the tips I ordered from Banggood, um, meaning that they eat, uh, uh, they were eaten away. Uh, with one solder job basically power on solder for I think it was 15 minutes and basically the whole tip was gone um, I think I do have it the whole tip got eaten away and this is the tip that came with the soldering iron and this is what this is what this one is supposed to look like and as you can see it yeah look at the, the, the size difference it just got eaten away completely uh, and I'm hoping that that doesn't happen with these ones I can see yeah the, the this one, this big one, isn't in here, I think, or is it? 
No, this one, there's a smaller version of this one inside there. Uh, but I think it should do fine. So, I don't have anything to, to solder actually right now. Not that I'm aware of. But we will uh, remember these two to properly test them. Because I'm very curious. Maybe uh, check if they even fit. As you can uh, test what you want, but if they don't, don't fit. Now what I um, do use from the previous solder tips is uh, this. The, the whole solder assembly thing. They also sent this and uh, including this and when you look at the previous at the original tip holder uh, it popped right off sometimes uh, this plastic just unclipped and just yeah it went away and uh, that was very annoying oh there's a lot of space in between It's tight now. But there was a lot of space in between. Well, well never mind then. It isn't optimal for thermal uh, conduction. But hey, if it works, it works. So, curious uh, at the results of these tips. Curious to know them. Let's move on. The priority one. Check what's inside here. Ah, these are the, the other BNC um, connectors. These are RCA to BNC connectors. And this is one half of uh, something that I ordered. Uh, the other half is still on its way uh, but as you can see this fits in here and this fits in here and that was the purpose of uh, of these T the, uh, splitters so let's open the IC package it shows content IC and curious to know what's inside here Oh, yeah, these indeed are ICs. Yes. Arduino Nanos. Two of them to compensate for the tragic loss of my uh, of my other Arduino. And they gave me something, I guess. I don't think I ordered headers well thanks I guess yeah these are just uh, Arduino nanos let's open them because they look they look and feel more uh, quality they, it feels like this one is a higher quality than the others. Also the button, it's way more clickier and, and gives way more feedback than the, uh, than the other nanos that I have. And same for this one. So this is a seller to remember because the, what it feels like right now is that the um, yeah, it's it's for from a higher quality, and that's always uh, nice to have. Now the two big ones. This one shows two, and obviously it's from China. And the value is six dollars and 
41 cents. Now I remember what this is. And I think that you remember it too. If I open it, and before I do, I want to make a, a little photo. Oh, they included a uh, converter. have to remove. This is uh, Chinesium at its best because the previous converter that I had was, was it had a, a massive uh, hole in there. But it works I guess. So, ta-da! You all remember this one, right? Let's open this and check. Well, it's it's still in one piece. And it feels better than the previous one. Um, but we will know for sure once we've tested it. And I can't really remember if they... Yeah, they did send me uh, an adapter like this. With the... Oh, so... This is really... This is a proper fit, actually. So, let's uh, open the uh, uh, connected uh, and take a look at my scope to see what the uh, the signal is. A quick uh, sidetrack, these were the previous uh, uh, T-splitters that I ordered, these one, and this is what I just uh, received, so you can see the difference here. Alright, power of my scope, connect the B and C. Now the previous uh, one was broken. Uh, it, the, the, the thing was literally broken. The case was uh, all over the place and it didn't uh, work properly. Um, if you touch this then the whole signal would jump around and
All right, I'm properly amazed by this. The It, it seems to work, actually. That is... Uh, above my expectations. Everything works as it should. It's uh, the salt tools works. The offset's working. Reverse salt tooth and a lot of noise. Yeah, this is uh, okay. Okay. Noise. This is. Uh, very interesting. Wait, look. The frequency is almost matching. And if I move the offset, it goes down and goes up. And the amplitude, the amplitude is uh, uh, 0 to 14 volts. So let's center it and measure it. Peak to peak is. Well, I said 10 volts. Mm. Not the 14 volts they gave us, but I'm not sure what you need 14 volts for. Um, but this is uh, this is quite good. I'm uh, quite impressed. Ah. No, this looks fine. Yeah, the frequency is a little bit off, but that's to be expected. Now this, uh, I give this uh, a pass. Now the only thing that I'm missing with this uh, thing is the option to generate a sine sweep. So that you uh, select the starting and ending frequency and the duration of the sweep. And, well, yeah, that it executes the sweep increasing the frequency and then decreasing the frequency I think that uh, it shouldn't be that hard to implement maybe I'm going to take a look at the firmware check it's, if it's open source because it's basically just an Arduino in here um, and I thought when I opened up the previous one that I saw an uh, ICSP header Meaning that you're able to uh, to program it. So that's uh, something that I uh, need to take a look at. Because well, it's quite useful to have a, a sign sweep. Uh, especially if you're designing filters. Uh, high pass, low pass, band pass. All that stuff. So that's quite useful. So nice uh, thanks Banggood. Because they uh, sent me this one. When I told them the other one was broken. Uh, and I really appreciate it because it's working. Oh, and you get this uh, with it too. Now the final package shows charger uh, with a value of five dollars. Uh, now that's not correct, um, but it is a charger. And what kind of charger? You might ask. Well, I'm glad you did. And if I'm able to open up this package, I can show you. It's surprisingly uh, 
surprising me how uh, little this thing is damaged. You know, if you saw the uh, the package that with the signal generator came in, it was uh, all over the place with the damage. Lito Kala Intelligent Battery Charger. I ordered uh, this one, the Engineer LI500 battery charger with an adapter because hey, you, uh, you can't have uh, enough adapters. It's a 12 volt 2 amperes adapter from 100 to 240 DC, maximum of 24 watts. And it's all about this charger. Get rid of this box. This is the charger. Now, what's so useful about this charger is that um, it supports double uh, A, triple A, and a various amount of 18. XXX cells, lithium cells, so 18650 uh, and, and a lot of others uh, are there listed here. 18650, 26650, 14500, double A and triple A. Um, yeah, the manual. Ooh. I was about to say the manual is Chinese, but then I flipped it around. I think that uh, the batteries that fit in this charger that it's capable of charging them so no 9 volt but I think if you've got another battery uh, that's not listed in the uh, specification list and matches the voltage ranges I think that this thing is capable of charging it yeah there you go it's written on the bottom a whole lot of batteries um, so yeah, I suggest we power it up and we uh, check what it does when we uh, put a battery in there. Now there's a 5V uh, output, so I think that you are able to put a battery in here and then you are able to generate a 5 volt signal from it, but I'm not really sure. There you go, no. Okay, no. That's uh, what I was expecting, no. Alright, what are we going to throw at this thing? I've got a couple of 18650s and I thought that I had a double A, but I haven't. So let's uh, insert this 18650 in, in here. Let's repower it. No. Still shows no. Maybe we need to take a look at the manual. Alright, so it shows that if it's a bad battery, it will show no. That could be the case, or it could be that it isn't making a good connection with it. Ah, hey, that's the problem. I put them in reverse. There you go. You need to take a good look at the 
<laughs> at the the diagrams in here. So charge, fast test, north test, charge. You can set the current. Let's bring them all up. Hey. No, no, no. Charge. Charge. This one is almost uh, full. Wow. There's no fourth one in here. But let's. Let's. Oh, it automatically switches to the, the battery that's inserted as well. Yeah, then go ahead. So it's charging. It's a, a pretty big device. But I love it. I love it already. I love that you can charge them all together and, and do different modes and do different charging uh, currents. And oh, these two are almost full. I want to, to fully charge these two and then drain them to see what capacity is left. So I think that this will take uh, a while. So I'll be, uh, I'll be back uh, to you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.